Assalamualaikum. Dear students, today we are going to study our poem, The Twice, written by Commentary at Hawk. I'm your teacher, Shiba Hussain Mori. Come to the introduction of Quandry Petmore, who is an English poet and critic of Victorian age, born to a literary and educated family. His father was a prominent editor and novelist. Due to his father's encouragement, Petmore published his first poem at a very young age in 1844. Petmore worked at the British Museum from 1846 to 1865 and was associated with three Raphaelites. His most celebrated work is The Angels in the House, which published in 1854. It was warmly praised by critic Ruskin and many others, and poetry is the family pride. Petmore was sincere and highly original poet. He wrote in verse, usually free and great enough for the period and in the natural, easy flowing language. This is the picture of Petmore, born in 1823 and died in 1896. To the biography of Petmore, his full name was Commentary Rashred Clinton Petmore. Occupation was critic and poet. Date of birth is 23rd of July, 1823. And he born in Exeter, England. He died on 26th of November, 1896. His most prominent work is his poems, published in 1844, The Angel in the House, in four volumes. He was the poet of the Victorian era. He, wife, uh, he is married three times with uh, Emily Augusta Andrews. His second wife was Marianne Caroline Wiles, and his third wife was Harriet Robson. His parents were Pat Peter George Patmore, and he has uh, the children, Commentary, Tennyson, Emily, Bertha, and Gertrude. The celebrated work of Petmore is Principles in Art, published in 1889, Valley Geopoetian, published in 1893, Poems, published in 1844, Death as Pulses, published in 1856, Faithful Forever, published in 1860, The Angel in the House, a long narrative and lyrical poem, published in 1854, How I Managed My Estate, published in 1886, The Unknown Eros, published in 1877, a volume of papers entitled Principles in Art, published in 1879, and Religio Poetry, published in 1893. Coming to our poem, uh, The Twice, written by Coventry Petmore, and the language is, of course, English. It is a symbolical poem, uh, and the theme is religious and family life, and it is the poem of a Victorian era. Uh, the Twice is a poem relates the story of a father and son. The father treats his son harshly by later realizes his mistake and uh, asks God to forgive him for his foolish behavior. Come to the poem The Twice. My little son, who looked from thoughtful eyes and moved and spoke in quiet grown-up wise, having my law the seventh time disobeyed, I just struck him and dismissed with hard words and unkissed. His mother, who was patient being dead, then fairly lest his grief should hind her sleep. I visited his bed and found him slumbering deep, with darkened eyelids and their eyelashes yet, and his late sobering wet, and I with moan, kissing away his tears, left other of my own. For on the table drawn beside his bed, he had put within his reach a box of counters and a red veined stone, a piece of glass abraded by the beach and six or seven shells, a bottle with blue bells, and two French copper coins ranged with, drenched there with careful art to comfort his sad heart. So when the night I prayed, to God I wept and said, Ah, when at last we lie with a trenched breath, not vexing thee in death, and thou rememberest of what twice we made our joys, how weakly understood thy great command did good, then fatherly, not less. Then I whom thou hast molded fr from the clay, thou art leave thy wrath and say, I will be sorry for their childishness. Let's talk about the little simple toys the boy used to play. The father goes to his son's room. His son is in a deep sleep. Besides the bed, the father finds a box of counters, red wind stone, a piece of glass, six or seven shells, a bottle with blue bells and two French coins. All these toys are arranged in a proper order. 
coming to our summary as i told you it is a religious uh, poem and kind of family matters the poet has discussed so the poet tells us that uh, how uh, the father punished his son for disobedience the child acted and talked just like he's a grown up man he made noises and disturbed his father well his father asked him to keep quiet but the son did not obey him seven time the father punished his son and sent him away without the usual kisses and love he used to uh, give to his son the child was much grieved he left his father and went to bed after some time the father realized that he had made a mistake as his son was lonely since his mother has been dead uh, he feared that the child might not be able to sleep due to his grief so out of the grief uh, he went to his bed and found that the child is asleep his eyelids are swollen due to uh, weeping his eyelashes were still wet with the drops of tears the father became more emotional when he found that his son had very uh, neatly arranged some pieces of glass a red wind stone some shells a bottle of blue bells and two french copper coins on the table they were simple and innocent but very enough uh, toys that uh, were enough to comfort his sad and alone and upset heart he noticed that the boy had sought consolation in small ordinary objects to comfort his sad heart it was a touching scene for the father whose wife was dead and there was no one to console the child he felt sorry for his attitude the father bent over the child and kissed away the tears from the boy's cheeks but tears from his own eyes dropped on the son's face due to emotions and sentiments in this poem the poet points out that god is always kind and merciful to man but man often fails to follow the commands of his creator he provides man with all the simple joys of life yet there are some who do not fear god even on their death bed god knows that though we had been disobeying his commands and enjoying ourselves with worldly things he yet he forgives us the father hopes that uh, as he has forgiven his son god would pardon him for his childishness and his sins his wrong doings he prayed all night with the feeling that god is merciful and he would forgive him uh, the twice is a religious poem in its spirit uh, through this simple poem quantity petmore conveys the greatness of god he uses simple language and vivid images to convey his thought in the poem twice poet has used a simile here he compares a father to god the poet says my love for my child is nothing as compared to god's love to me i beat and punish my child for every small matter but god loves me so much that he forgives me the language of the poem is easy to understand the poem is powerful enough to invoke emotions the guilt of a father feels after beating his child is expressed in a sensitive manner and another part of the poem where the poet feels that he is being getting a strong support from the toys in the room this part is very emotional too because it is very natural sometimes when we are emotionally weak then anything can inspire us the poet feels that the non living toys are real humans and they are emotionally supporting the poet so in the end uh, we realize that this poem is a symbolic very simple in a very ordinary and simple language hope you will understand So this is it for today. Thank you so much for reading this. I hope that you will benefit from this lecture and you will read it carefully and you will be able to answer all the questions. If you have any questions and queries kindly let me know. Thank you so much and have a nice day.